11 hours or so to go until, of course, the annual showdown begins between the University of Michigan and Michigan State. Yeah, they'll be playing under the lights in prime time, and security will be on high alert due to threats against Michigan State athletics. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live in Ann Arbor this morning with everything you need to know before you go. Good morning, Jennifer Ann. Good morning. As you mentioned, that game about 11 hours away. Of course, the celebrations start far before that. This is Elbow Field. This is where the marching band begins their rehearsals around 1.30. There's always a lot of people there to watch them rehearse. And then the marching band leads a big crowd down the sidewalk towards the big house. And once you get there, there'll be plenty of security. They'll be uh, searching everyone who goes through. And there's a long list of items you can't take in with you. Here are a few of those things just so you can be prepared when you go. You can't bring water. You can't bring bags or purses or uh, or fanny packs or anything like that. You can't bring flags or flagpoles. There's a graphic up there with uh, more items on that list. You can also not bring seat cushions if they have metal pockets or attachments of any kind. You can't bring an umbrella. Wah, wah. I know it could be rainy. You might want to think about a clear plastic bag, but no umbrellas allowed, no strollers. Now, a security expert tells us that controlling what happens inside the stadium, well, that's not the hard part when it comes to keeping everyone safe. Every precaution is taken to secure inside that stadium. Our concern is outside that stadium, where people are getting ready to make entry, where people are milling around, and the 50, 60,000 that are there that, that aren't going to the game. They're just there to tailgate and party and hang around outside. That's very difficult to secure. Well, you know, the game is sold out. So in addition to more than 100,000 people inside the stadium, there's going to be people at parties like this one. We're right next to Elbow Field, and this is a party that benefits cancer support community. And I know that you guys are a very popular place for people to tailgate. You've got lots of big screen TVs in here, a very popular place for people to watch the game if they don't have tickets. What have you done to make sure that everything stays secure and safe. Yeah, so we obviously recognize that this is a big rivalry and we needed to, you know, increase our staffing and increase our security. So today we have um, several more volunteers than we would generally have to run our beer garden. Since we are a nonprofit, we do have staff here, but um, predominantly we are ran by volunteers. So we have um, increased that staffing as well as doubled our security for today. Okay, fantastic. And of course, as always, if you see something you think might just be unusual, don't be shy. Let a security guard know, let a police officer know just so they can look into it. It's better safe than sorry. And we are going to be back with you at 830, finding out more about this charity beer garden. If you don't have a place to tailgate, stay tuned. We're going to get a little sampling of what it is they have to offer. Back to you guys.